the rolling stones, both rolling and stones. Marijuana. Is it a plant? Is it a chemical? You don't know. You may find out, and I don't know about that, with Jim Jeffries. I thought of that very quickly. Mm, I, tell. Jack, Jack, t- tell Jack turned to me and just said, have you got anything? And I went, oh, I'll give it a go. <laughs> you should have and then Jack's I looked face. at the Beatles poster on the wall and I thought, oh, that's a bit too easy. And I went, oh, Rolling Stones, they've got two words that I can go, mm-hmm. uh, the, the difference. And then I said, uh, marijuana. And it turns out it's a plant. It's like brick from Anchorman. I mm. love lab. I, I like that you're recapping. <laughs> I know the thing we just heard. And we that's, are, and it was you just said what you said. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's the thing. That's that's how I have eight stand-up specials. <laughs> I just do I just do the whole thing where I say everything and then explain it. It's like it's, it's the Chris Rock re- reference. It's like I was talking to Forrest Shaw. Forrest Shaw, and then you can expand things a little bit. Mm. Hold on, what is but the Rolling Stones, what did that even mean, what you said? The Rolling Stones. Both, we could talk about rolling. How was rolling invented? Rolling? Who, oh, yeah. rolling I was what? assuming rolling on drugs. Just any rolling. Oh. Rolling cigarettes, rolling on the ground. Mm. Mm. Why haven't we done that episode? Cars roll. You're Cars right. roll. Right. Wait, Henry wh- Rollings. So we would do Cinnamon an episode rolls. on rolling. Cinnamon rolls. Oh, wow. Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. I'm on a roll. <laughs> oh, where did these words come from? <laughs> Who knows? Let's do an episode on rolls. <laughs> Write it down. Rolls. Mm. I've got an acting <laughs> roll. Doesn't mean that you're acting like you're rolling. Mm. It's a different thing. Okay. Roll playing. Shut up, Jack. That's a stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> I right. was role playing an asshole. You're right, Jack. <laughs> yeah. That was a good idea. Vindicated. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, let's anyway. do Worlds. <laughs> we were sent a theme song. Oh, yeah. we yeah. had a theme song. So By the way, do, do, okay. I was going to say. For Comment World. Theme song for Comment Let's hear From it. From Jenna Emery. Oh, fucking hell. She still got my number. <laughs> Come with me to Comment World, making comments a world of fun. Bit of clarinet. <laughs> oh, no, it's starting over. <laughs> Come to me to Comment World. Comments are a lot of fun. I like the clarinet. Yeah, yeah the clarinet. Okay. I mean, I'll, cheers. I'll tell you what, Jenna, put clarinet through it all. Yeah, she's going to have to dub like the voice and she's going to have to mix this. Clarinet the whole way through, voice the whole way through, then you got yourself a hit. What but do you, other, you mean we're going to use it as the theme song? If she does clarinet and voice, and then I will rejudge. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Jenna Emery. Jenna, here's a hot tip for you. The, we the have, worst we... porn name ever. <laughs> she got the first name right and the second name, Emery. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we got any other uh, songs. So yeah, the, she's in the uh, lead. Uh, she's in the lead. <laughs> other porn names. Jessa Eppenstein. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. The whole clarinet. I, it's like, is that a clarinet and cheers? And I just realized that's like a. Mm. Is it a clarinet or is it? It sounds kind of like an oboe. No, that's a voice singing that. No, no. <laughs> no. No. When they do the in between scenes, they don't do the lyrics. It anymore. might be a clarinet. I think it's. Piano, right and then there might be a bit of clarinet. If I could hear it, I could tell you right now. But the clarinet is a woodwind reeded instrument. Yes, mm, I used to play the clarinet when I was a kid. Really? Mm, just for like a year. I'm not very good. Oh, it's like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Never had one lesson. <laughs> like that's how I'd be. But <laughs> I used to play the saxophone, and I could play it a little tiny bit. But when we were in the like the school orchestra. When there was a big song, I just, I wasn't blowing. I was just puffing my cheeks out and moving my fingers. Because I knew I wasn't good enough and there's a concert. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And my parents are watching. And I'm just there. What if everyone did that? I was the only saxophone as well. You can't hear him. It made us, our version of Billy Joel's For the Longest Time, very awkward. <laughs> Is right. cl- I feel like there's saxophone in that song. I just picked that up. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know, actually. Billy Joel uses a lot of saxophone in the You 80s. were confident, so I believe it. For the longest it. time, it's just the doo-wop. The do 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 ding 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 Billy Joel uses a lot of saxophone. He's got like a saxophone player that still has concerts with him. He's like an old bloke. He's just yeah. like, hey, I survived the 80s saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that is tough. There was a lot of scrambling of saxophone oh, in the, the 80s. in the 80s, the saxophone players were like, this will go on forever. <laughs> we're on every song. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we didn't get any more songs, but we got some like lyrics for possible songs. Hmm. Uh, the first one is, there is, of course, only one King Jim, but the bear and the sailor accompany him. Now Jack's coming out, personality unfurled. Let's all get excited. It's comment world. Oh, right, thank you, Bernie Tolpin. <laughs> That one's good. I like it. It's like a limerick. We, we have yeah. another one. I believe we have another one from Tim Rice. <laughs> uh, this one says, what if Jack was one of us? Would he shag like one of us? Just a virgin on the bus trying to make his way home. Yeah. Oh. And here's one that I, I got. Oh, where's me phone? Um, this one wasn't as lyrical. Jack, kill yourself. Kill yourself now. Kill yourself now. Very negative. How oh, come those are in your notes? <laughs> Without his phone. Yeah. <laughs> he texted himself. It was, it was, just, it was just a time and the date. Uh, that was from his son. <laughs> Straight from the heart. Um, a couple of uh, facts that we might have missed on the James Bond episode. Mm. Um, the double O signature and double O uh, agents. Double O signifies they have a license to kill. I thought we said that. Yeah, okay. L license to kill. So um, it's like when you kill a person, you go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that we said that. We had that in the notes, but all right, thank you. And then uh, GoldenEye is a type of duck. We said it was a, we said, uh, it was, oh, it was the place that the guy wrote the, yeah, we said, he, we said he was named after an ornithologist. If you look so, up go oh. GoldenEye duck, it's like yeah, the yeah. classic mallard. That makes sense because yeah, yeah, yeah. James Bond was an ornithologist. Yeah, so. because one of the movies was going to be called Mallard. <laughs> and then <laughs> the difference bird. between MI5 and MI6, MI5 is like domestic government stuff and MI5 is all foreign affairs. And what's MI6? MI6? MI6 is foreign affairs. No, okay. Remember, you didn't say that. You said MI5 yeah, is missing MI5. I said MI5 and MI5. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to get more comments. I can't about go back that. to that comment, Jim. Jim. What did they say again? Uh, Jack, Jack, kill yourself. You upset me. Oh, that's a different blah, one. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there, okay. were, there were multiple submissions. Jack, Jack I can song. smell you from here. <laughs> comment world. <laughs> That was really hurt. <laughs> I, I didn't write it. I'm just reading it. He's reading I'm it just, off I'm just letting them know it hurts. Phone. You still need a charge? Hey, can dead? you guys stop texting me? <laughs> I'm actually dyslexic. It actually says the word hack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one actually hurts more. <laughs> um, uh, there was one comment I read that had the word dirigible in it that we didn't know. Dirigible's yeah. uh, actually a word for blimp. Hmm. Right. Your airship resembles. Well, tell them to stop what? being so fancy. Yeah. I don't know. Why yeah. were we talking I about that? I fucked a dirigible chick. <laughs> it was something about traveling by dirigible, and, yeah. and we were uh, asking what that word was. Thought it was didgeridoo. That was that was <laughs> Aboriginal for blimp. <laughs> they, they hadn't figured out boats, but they were all over the blimp technology. <laughs> um, Kelly, people really like the cunt balloons that were behind you. If you want to like talk about where you got them from. Uh, yes. So badass balloon co. BadassBalloonCo.com or at BadassBalloonCo on Instagram. This is amazing. We're not even doing ads. Yeah. <laughs> and someone said Cunt Baloo is Jim's uh, new nickname. Cunt what Balloon? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Why? Well, I'm all right with that. Yeah. I don't know. I guess there were Cunt it's Balloons. It's kind of fun. I, sounds kind of funny. Nah, yeah, I nice. swallowed them and brought them into the country. <laughs> <laughs> that person's very creative. Yeah. <laughs> I saw cunt balloons. Uh, it's Jim's new nickname. It's, it's basically how Jim does a theme song. Yeah. Uh, cunt balloon. Yeah, he, he can make that nickname for any cunt tables, <laughs> cunt computers, cunt walls. Cunt, cunt. Um, someone <laughs> cunt, commented. Cunt. That's uh, the name of my panda. <laughs> is it, has anyone ever mentioned how Forrest sounds like a grown-up Beavis? Hmm. He does. He so, someone, Beavis? someone said right. to me something, they wrote to me and they said, uh, they said, has anyone given you the nickname Forrest Grump? Uh, yeah, I saw that too. And I'm like, how is that in front of us forever? Yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Forrest Grump. Yeah, I'll take it. I was telling Forrest earlier, I get like oddly uh, protective when people talk shit about him. So because, I, like, I why? Because he's just <laughs> so sensitive. Like he, he's always crying about the bad comments, but yeah. I did like Forrest Grump. <laughs> that For one didn't. I don't mind Forrest, Forrest Grump. Grump. That was funny. I don't mind Forrest Grump at all. Yeah. Me and Jenny were like hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> Peas and carrots. And then Forrest I know, but I have to be grumpy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Goddamn Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Jenny, do you have AIDS? <laughs> don't live on my property. <laughs> I'm very grumpy. Why are you always leaving your heroin needles in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Uh, that was terrible Forrest Gump in first. Yeah, that's, Forrest, <laughs> that's Forrest Grump. Um, someone did ask that their name was also Forrest, but they decided to go by their middle name because um, they got so much shit when Forrest Gump came out. They asked if you had a hard time they went being by, named Forrest. They went by when their middle name was Fire. Fire. <laughs> uh, did I get a lot of no? 
not real. I no. I, I people like the movie though. But it is still that it's like been out so long and people still like sometimes you're on a customer service call and they're like, oh, like Forrest Gump. And you're like, yeah, yeah. 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 He, and Forrest also grew up in Florida. They didn't get the movie till 2005. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get movies. Everything in Florida. We don't know what's going on there. <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Which he, way do I wear my pants? <laughs> yeah. He wasn't as embarrassed as his brother Bath Salts. <laughs> Basalt Shaw. <laughs> was Salt his middle name? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bath. No, his middle Bath name. Shaw. No, his middle Bath name Salt was Shaw. Sniffin. <laughs> Basalt Sniffin Shaw. Basalt Sniffin Shaw. And his and his and his last name was spelled S U R E. Uh, it was like he was agreeing to do it. Well, if you're out there, Bath Salts, I'd love to meet you. <laughs> I don't know if we can even explain what this one's about, but someone asked, "Need an update? Did you did Kelly's mom? Did we do Kelly's mom? Did we did her?" Did we did her? Did anyone have sex with her? No idea. Kelly's dad, probably. Dad, yeah. Anybody yeah. have any idea what that's referring to? I, I've met Kelly's mom. Yeah. No, I did you fuck her? Is yeah. the question. That's made love. The podcast. Made love. You could be honest. Yeah. As long as you made love. <laughs> you made, you're tender. I made love with your mother in uh, 2018. So okay. I'm your dad. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how that that Thank math you for letting up. me know. Yeah. Wait, does your mom listen to the podcast? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Hello, Mrs. Zabilski. Uh, sorry. She did. She did mention. <laughs> you got her name right and everything. Yeah, and she did mention it was I'm lackluster. Re- I'm respectful yeah. to parents. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. fucked your mom. Sorry, uh, Mrs. Zabilski. <laughs> sorry, Mrs. Zabilski. <laughs> <laughs> really sorry. Uh, sorry. We'll bring Kelly back at a reasonable hour. Sorry. <laughs> uh, people are still pissed about Iron Brew. Um, someone sent us a link. They said you only can get Iron Brew out of the. Because the glasses don't get them out of the bo- uh, plastic bottles or cans that they taste like shit. Mm. And they sent us the link, so I guess oh, we know where to order them. Did we order those, them? One of those iron brew purists. <laughs> you, <laughs> you said you wanted to get some and try it last week. There, did yeah. we order any? Or? Oh, I thought that was Jack's We'll job. order some now yeah. with the glass bottle yeah. ones. I don't have an assistant. I like how you asked I don't, I don't have an assistant so I can order my own fucking iron brew. <laughs> and someone said I mean, you should COVID, try. I haven't earned money since February. You want me to order my own iron brew? I'm pro bono at the moment. Get it from Petty Cash. <laughs> Uh, someone said you need to try Iron Brew with spiced rum, so maybe that's something we can also attempt. Mm. Um, mm. Uh, people always like to comment about my name, Jack Hackett, because it's based on uh, my name's not based on it, but there's a drunken priest called yeah. Jack Hackett. Jack Hackett from Father in, in Father Ted, yeah, uh, Father Jack, Jack Hackett. Yeah, yeah it's it was, funny. I watched some clips. He, of he's the fun. old Jack. The old boy that goes, Jed, rum, yeah, girls, like, yeah, yeah, girls. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good show. It's a very good show. The fucking uh, the guy who played Father Ted and it died, I think, in the third season, in the off season, they couldn't come back. I, look, I've heard rumors the cocaine was involved, but that mm. could just be me being nasty. You you were nasty to him? No, I used to be his coke dealer. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have uh, any more comments? Yeah, this last one, uh, it's I guess like a series of comments. I don't need to read them off, but Jim was talking about how. There aren't flocks of girls like having girls night going to a show, and we're having a bunch of people saying that they do. Yeah, they'd, they'd be goers, those birds. Hey, eh? <laughs> those girls that get a girls' night out, they yeah. fucking go. Let's go see Jim Jeffries. <laughs> I I did go to your show with. They're the oh, same girls that go to strip clubs. Love them. I went to your your show like nine or ten months before I started working with you with one of my girlfriends, and that was the show. I think it might have been at the Ace, but that was when the Trump supporter tried to punch a woman in the middle of the show. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, yes. That yes, was yes, a yes, fucking... Wait, the, explain that. There was just a guy who stood up. I was doing a Trump gag. That It's online about me going, let's see how bad shit can happen, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, they, I think it was a Mexican guy because he stood up and goes, I'm going to kill you. I'm gonna kill you. No, no, it was a, it was definitely a white guy. Oh, Some, that's a different show. Yeah, oh, no, that was so Nokia, the guy I'm gonna kill you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's, you said something. Oh, like, oh, yeah. I did the thing about Trump, and there was a guy behind that the girl went woo, and then the guy went fuck you, and then the boyfriend stood up, and then they he took a swing at the yeah, woman. Yeah, and then he took. It's hard to get back from that. They that's were, the thing about comedy. Hard to get back once a woman's punched. There was definitely, there were drinks thrown. They were like six seats down for me, one row up. And I was like, oh man, are we And I remember because I said to the, I said to the security, I said, I'm really sorry, but you all have to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because there's nothing you could do. You have to kick out the person that was punched. You have to kick out the thing. You have to get, because it's like, you can't, 
You can't be on stage and and decipher what's happened. You yeah. just go. Anyone involved has to. It go was basically. In there, I think so. you you asked if there were any Trump supporters in the audience, and one of the guys was like really rowdy cheering, and the girl in front of him started like she like kind of booed him or whatever, and he just like flipped the he fuck just out. Fucking punched it was her. like what the f- that it escalated very quickly. You remember when we went? I had to- a great time. <laughs> You remember when we went to see Elton John? And yeah. I guess there was a fight in the balcony. And it was kind of like, who fights at an Elton John concert? <laughs> and it was happening. And, uh, and it, all we heard was, he's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a little bit of a disturbance. And so Elton, Elton was like, ah, something's going on there. And he kept trying to get back into it. But it was like, it got, it, it was going on for like a minute. Like, <laughs> and he was just like, ah, okay, we'll just move. Do you, I just want to say something real quick. So Jim took me to see Elton John in Vegas. It wasn't, I wasn't his first choice. He wanted to take a woman. But uh, but at the time, didn't I could, work out. Yeah, yeah. So he asked me if I wanted to go. It was me, you, and the DJ came with us. But he wasn't at the concert with us. We all went to to Vegas. DJ together. calls just went and gambled. Yeah, yeah. So we sat down, and then the audience was all older couples and gay couples. Pretty much was the audience, and we sat in between two gay couples. There was a gay couple like right on the edge of the uh, end, end of the aisle. Oh, I'd been then, drinking. Yeah, and there was another <laughs> gay couple there. So we sat down in the really tight seats. And when we sat down, you're like, you, they're so tight, like your hips, would, like, if you're big, like me and, and well, Jim too. And you sat down and you knocked the guy's beer over <laughs> next to us and spilled it. It was a giant beer. Yeah, about he, a $15 beer. Yeah, and he was like, at first he was like, what the, ah, you know, you're just like, ah, you're trying not to get upset, whatever. And Jim's like, ah, I'll buy you another beer. But, and he goes, well, and he was like upset. And then he looks up and this is right after you had yelled at uh, at Piers Morgan. Oh, Piers Morgan, he just goes, off, yeah. wait, are you guy that, the guy that told Piers Morgan to fuck off on television? And you're like, yeah, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then he, he probably bought you a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, were bought, we hang out with him. We bought beers for all the time. And so then, so Jim goes, all right, I'm going to go get, get this guy a beer, whatever. They both walked out together. And when Jim was walking out, he goes, you stay right here, sweetheart. And he slapped me on the chest really hard like that, like hard. And then he walked away and the gay couple over on this other side go, are you okay? Like, <laughs> they like they thought, I was like, oh, you think we're a couple. Ah, that's good. That's good. I'm just an abusive friend. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right let's like, start the show. Oh uh, wait, wait, oh. Th- th- wait. There's th- there's a story twice that you said you were gonna tell about your about your mom. No, gu- I guess is our guest is here. Okay. All right, let's start the show. Okay, um, let's introduce our guest. Guest time. Guest time. Get your guests here. <laughs> that's that's my new thing. I'm gonna act like a paper boy from the 1950s Perfect. every now and again. We got guests. We we got we, papers. <laughs> I think it's going to be a big hit. I wanted to be like a German soldier that was like, when he asked for papers, was like, papers, you got your papers. German? Yeah. You yeah. know, when the Germans, papers, have you got your papers? Uh, like all the Nazis, yeah. uh, whenever they went through, papers, papers. I'm glad you look up to these guys. Yeah, but I would, I would have one that was like a newsie from the 1950s. <laughs> hey, all you uh, prisoners of war, papers, you got your papers. <laughs> they think they're just getting a newspaper, but really they're being arrested. That's how they catch them. Okay. All right, All right. So let's try this again. Let's introduce our guest. Um, please welcome to the I Don't Know About That podcast, Josh Willis. Um, hello, Josh. Hello. I'm looking. I, I'm looking. At you. Is it Josh or is that the name that Elvis took when he didn't die? Okay. Oh. So if, uh, um, if you're not old enough, but I do have a question about Elvis impersonation. Hold, hold on a second. If you're, if you're listening, why, why are they all older than when Elvis died? <laughs> There's no young Elvis impersonators. Why don't we have a young Elvis? He, he's dressed like Elvis Presley. That's what I wanted the people to know. You just started talking about Elvis like a crazy person. And everyone <laughs> everyone impersonates Elvis as fat old Elvis. No one goes, I'm going to do young Elvis. I'm going to do the one where he just wore a nice shirt and pants and shake these dick around. You know, he used to have like a... He used to have, like, because they called him Elvis the Pelvis, and they had to film him from the waist up. He used to tie a bit of string with a cork on the end of his dick, right, so that when he swung, it looked like he had a big-ass dick swinging around, right? Ah. And so they called him Elvis the Pelvis. And then they, the Ed Silent Show, they said, no more from the waist down. The American youth are getting too sexually, uh, sexually whatever. Charged. So they just they just did him from the top, and he went, hey, 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 like that. So our guest is dressed like Elvis. We're dressed uh, like Elvis. <laughs> um and uh, you, this is a part of the podcast, judging a book by its cover, where you try to guess what our guest is an expert in. Um, based on just looking at them, you can ask yes or no questions. Are you uh, an expert in Elvis? 
I am not. You have quantum physics have just <laughs> have just appeared. When I say quantum <laughs> physics, quantum <laughs> physics, you have math equations, and I'm like quantum physics quantum just appeared quantum in the background. Physi- you, you look like you look like what they put behind Stephen Hawking to flash him up a bit when he was giving a speech. <laughs> when they were like, oh God, Stephen doesn't look very intelligent. Put, put some mathematical equations whizzing past him. Uh, uh, so ask him some yes or no. Okay, please. so are you are you involved in mathematics? I uh, I use uh, mathematics in my day job. Yes. In your day job? Oh, I want to know what his night job is. <laughs> oh, someone's up to something at night. You don't want to know. Okay, so well, well, I, involves, would, uh, I would guess it's cork. Uh, yeah. If I was a cork, ah, so you're a gigolo. <laughs> <laughs> a little he known thing that house. Elvis was a gigolo. Little known thing. When he was like seven or eight, it wasn't, you know, when he was older, he was a musician. I don't think it's called um, a gigolo when you're seven. <laughs> yeah, but it was the South. Things were different. Right. Um, uh, okay, so you're an Elvis impersonator at night. During the day, you use mathematics. Uh, you're a maths teacher. Does, are you I'm, done uh, asking yes or no questions? No, 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 no. That's Oops. a question. Are you a maths teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it like are Jeopardy. What is a maths teacher? <laughs> I say maths. I don't I'm say either. math because there is multiple I'm, numbers. Like you stupid Americans who go math like there's one <laughs> equation. I say maths because I have multiple equations that I might want to do. Well, we say fish, not fishes. No, I say fishes. Mm. There's a lot of fishes over there. A lot of fish over there. No, I say fish. Yeah. I say fish. But I do say Legos. Wrong. And you say Lego. <laughs> Correct. No, I say Legos. That's wrong. Who you says s- Lego? It's Lego bricks. Nope. Yeah, everyone says Lego bricks. Lego. No, but I've never heard anybody say Lego No, bricks. America's Legos is incorrect. Right Legos now. is incorrect. Legos is what Australians say, and you say Lego. And now we've got people writing, <gasps> we say Lego at my house, in my house, in Woolloomooloo. I've legit never heard anybody say Le- Lego bricks. I will remind you that you are in our country, Jim. I am. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait a minute. I'm a citizen in both. I, uh, it's more our country than yours. Yeah, but it's the immigrants like me that made this country. <laughs> yeah, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> this country was formed on the backs of people <laughs> like Jim. Thank you for the railroads. <laughs> when I came over and I was at Ellis Island, and I remember land of opportunity, America, and I've lost my accent, haven't I? Because I used to speak like this. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to America, and I all I have is suitcase and a uh, thousand pesos or yen. I had a thousand yen, and I talk like this. I was well traveled. I was an Italian guy with a bag full of yen. Uh, and, uh, Giuseppe Jeffries. Yeah, just, <laughs> I, I changed it to Jim because yeah. I wanted to be, you know, act like one of you yeah. boys. And my Asian brother is now called Charlie. Oh. Um, <laughs> Good we, to were, know. we were both adopted by African people and we were brought over here to Ellis Island to escape the Holocaust in which country I don't know it's uh, it's the I don't know that podcast weekly questionable Asian reference <laughs> <laughs> we have one every week <laughs> most of them are cut out <laughs> Okay, oh, I'm so glad you said cut out without the accent. Good. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right, so you use you use maths. You use maths. Uh, you're a cashier. Are you, are you a cashier? I I I am not a cashier, but I I am in charge of some money. Ooh. I love oh. how now you only ever ask one question. You're and in just charge of the Reserve Bank. <laughs> Nope. You're in charge of the primary bank, the reserve one. Let me give you there some the backup. Yeah, the reserve, the reserve yeah. bank is just sitting there if the primary bank fails and goes, oh, I can come on. I'm good at banking. I've been standing on the sideline forever. I'm the reserve bank. Uh, okay. well, I'll give you a hint. Um, what Josh is involved up uh, involved in is you, has been in the news for many years now and is irrelevant thing that we talk about oh you're a white supremacist <laughs> <laughs> yes right. yes that is correct so josh tell us might be i don't know <laughs> we didn't ask him that <laughs> so, yeah yeah you are dressed like elvis jo- josh go ahead <laughs> I, don't re- I don't remember any of the the, the memphis mafia yeah. called lebron <laughs> josh you can go ahead and put the tiki torch in frame now mm, yeah. okay all right uh, um <laughs> no i uh i'm not now or nor have i ever do I ever recall having been a white supremacist? Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Okay. Be, they, a, they never remember. I, I'm Josh. a blackout drunk no. myself. <laughs> I used to have an ex girlfriend. I, okay, I, won't, I won't do that story. Anyway, okay, carry on. Um, I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more hand. Then we'll tell you. Um, Josh just got back recently working in Greenland. Oh, um, uh, you're an expert in time. Mm. What? what? Oh. Mm-hmm. The Greenwich. I don't oh, know that's what that means. Greenwich. Oh, Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> 
That's where time's <laughs> I got a hint. From. I got a hint. <laughs> oh, yeah, I fucked uh, that up. Uh-oh, uh, wait, there you go. Oh. Save there the Klim. Oh. <laughs> Claim it. Save <laughs> So, say so the now now not many people know this, but a cly is a small lizard in Australia that's endangered, yeah. and that's the oh. se- sentence we have in Australia. Save the cly, mate. Say the cly, mate. <laughs> Even less people Save care. Save the cly, mate. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, Josh is a climate scientist. Um, well, I thought we did real subjects on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Willis uh, is a NASA climate scientist uh, at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Yeah. He's the lead scientist for the satellites that measure global sea level rise from space, and he's the principal investigator. Is that you in space or one of those planes that duck really for, quickly? I'm still doing his introduction, Jim. He's, he's the principal <laughs> investigator for NASA's airborne mission, Oceans Melting Greenland, or OMG for short. When he's not doing that, he does improv, makes short films, and occasionally appears as Climate Elvis. Climate Elvis. You can find him on Facebook at facebook.com. Facebook.com. Yeah, it's a different website. <laughs> the Climate Elvis video is not wet, what you web. think on uh, Facebook.com. You can find him at facebook.com slash Climate Elvis or on Instagram and Twitter as at OMG NASA. Um, all right. Welcome to the show, Josh Willis. Thanks for well, being thank here. Well, thank you. All right. So thank you very you, much. Are you an expert <laughs> on climate change or you're an expert on yes. just climate on the thing? See, I was talking to Forrest about this the other day, right? So we had a nice little earthquake in LA last week and it was like an earthquake that started small. It's the first one I felt that ramped up a bit. Mm-hmm. That it started small and then it went ooh at another level. Yeah. And then we went ooh, how many levels has it got? And I, I always, <laughs> I always forget what to do because I, I, Jason Whitehead was in the house. And I, I was there with my fiance. And we, we were sitting there and it went off and it, it went for so long that I, I, I turned to them both and said. Should we do something? <laughs> are, we, are we meant to go somewhere? Because yeah. I don't have a really good table to hide under or something like that. And I was like, oh, whatever. Right. It was like 1230 at night or something like that. Anyway, I was thinking about this. So people who live in LA, for the majority, are left-wing Democrat, Democratic people, right, who think Republicans who don't believe in climate change are fucking idiots because climate change, and I believe this as well, is happening and we all eventually, well, not us, but our children's children. That's why I don't particularly care. But uh, our children, <laughs> our children's children will be dying from this. And we're like, you idiots. We know this is happening, but you do nothing. Yet all of us liberal Democrats live in a, ta- live in a town where we know there'll be a big one that will destroy a lot of stuff. And we're like, ah, you got to live your life. <laughs> we, just, we just sit around in a place that's inevitably going to have an earthquake going, what are you gonna do? But there are natural disasters everywhere. Like, I would rather be in some earthquakes that do a little bit of damage every year than oh, hurricane I, season. I, or I, something. Yeah, I would say earthquake over hurricanes, yeah. over tornadoes, yeah. over flooding, over tsunami. Yeah, I would take any of them. Tsunamis are one of my top three fears, irrationally, because I'm not anywhere near the ocean. Yeah. But her second biggest fear <laughs> is not being able to surf an 80 foot wave. <laughs> so, Josh, um, thanks for being here. Um, yeah, uh, we want. I wanted to make sure we got all your credits out there because you are dressed like Elvis, and we didn't want people to think. No, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Thank because, you for that. Because this is a subject we want people to take seriously. <laughs> That's right. And you're fucking doing it dressed as Elvis. Thanks, mate. Thanks for. Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> if you're not listening if you're not listening if you're not watching if you don't care if you're not listening why not <laughs> if you're not listening to this podcast why don't what, write into us and tell us why you're not listening um all right josh so what we're gonna do i know you haven't spoken much yet but hang tight we're i'm gonna no, ask him everything he thinks he knows about climate change i'm gonna prod him along with some questions and then we're gonna take some notes on his answers if you want to feel free and then at the end you're going to go back you're going to grade him on zero through ten ten being the best on how well he did accuracy on his knowledge of climate change kelly's going to grade him on confidence i'm going to grade him on etc now before i start this i would like to say (laughs) okay i'm a big believer in in science right i believe scientists are the most important people in our society and they if since history has started they are the people who have led the way to where we are and all this but i'll also say this i was I'm not very good at science, nor do I understand it. Mm. I'm also a big believer in cars. Don't know how to build one. <laughs> believer right? in cars. I'm a big believer in them. I think they're good. Good work. Yeah. Good work, car people. <laughs> Solid work. I've enjoyed your business. But I, I, don't, I, I don't suspect I will know anything about it. But I am a big believer in climate change okay. with little to no knowledge. 
Keeping well, this in mind for the confidence score, yeah. it's already as we discussed on our points. podcast last week. We uh, y- you got to leave it to the experts. That's what you're doing. Got to leave it to the experts. Okay. All right. So let's start. Uh, what is climate change, Jim? Uh, it's a change in climate. <laughs> Nailed that it. is happening over time because of things that we have put into the environment, such as um, carbon stuff, smoke and shit, and mm. CFCs that have caused problems with the ozone layer that's left a hole, which there is two holes in the ozone layer, one over Australia and one over the North Pole. And the UV rays are coming in and they're fucking getting in the hole and then they can't get out because they bounce in. Like if you throw a ball bearing in, they get in through the hole and then they bounce around inside because they can't find the fucking hole again, right? Although the, the, the hole in the ozone layer is actually getting smaller because we've stopped using as many CFCs such as styrofoam and uh, refrigeration and hairspray stuff that had the CFCs in them that's why australia okay wait so, so, the, so the, o, the ozone hole is causing climate change it's it's not helping it's not helping things <laughs> right, right? It's, it's not okay. helping things i'll tell you another thing that's not helping things yeah me yeah. 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 No, i'm not i'm not i'm not helping you have a whatsoever tesla? i have a tesla and i'm getting solar panels in my house soon i'll be off the grid completely but apart from that i also have a dodge challenger <laughs> Uh, which which gets eight miles to the gallon. It's called balance. Right? Yeah. So so between those two cars, I'm driving a nice Honda Civic. Yeah. Okay. Right. In, in, in between the two. Um, What's the difference between climate change and global warming? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I th- oh, I thought those were the same things. They okay. might be. I'm asking. Yeah, you. I think I think they're the same things. Global warming and climate change. <laughs> now, now the thing is, there's things okay. with climate change where the water's rising up because, as we see, there's the so, the, the ice ice caps, right? And what happens is because as it's we getting, see where. But behind him, he's good. Behind Elvis, Josh. it looks like Elvis. <laughs> behind, I'll take it. Behind Elvis, climate Elvis. Yeah. There's there's all these these snow, the icy bits, right? Yeah. Which to your flat Earth is the bits on the edge, <laughs> right? <laughs> and and what happens to them is even if we raise by one degree, which of, of real measurement, uh, seventeen of your wacky fucking whatevers, right? <laughs> we got even, Fahrenheit no, Celsius. Even, even yeah, if we yeah. even if we raise just a little minute degree, those things can't. In the ecosystem they can't survive and they melt and they push into the ground and then the water levels rise up and we lose florida so it's not all bad it's not, it's not all bad <laughs> we have to work hard until marilago has gone and then we have to back off back off we got what we wanted it's we got what we wanted balance. we get rid of fucking florida we don't need florida anymore <laughs> forest mums died that was the only person we cared about in florida <laughs> <laughs> right the rest of do you have any other relatives there that we should give a shit about i don't have any immediate i have friends there still and family yeah, friends for, you can make new friends you can't make new relatives what about you? tom brady and gronk i don't know who your fucking childhood tv <laughs> programs that you watch it's football the, player, the, football the, player. the tom and gronk show that you grew up <laughs> now it's time for tom and gronk and their adventures okay all right um if climate change or global warming is happening, why does it still get really cold sometimes? Mm. Interesting question, Forrest. Uh, now, uh, now, why don't you tell me why you think it is, and I'll tell you whether you're right or wrong. Ooh. Okay, next question. I do this with my it's son all the twist. time. Yeah. He's like, what's four plus eight? And I'm going, mm. when you, tell me. Do scientists agree on climate change? Uh, 95% of them. Most, most, and then there's those stupid Republicans that are like, I'm a scientist and I don't believe in global changing. And if you want a hair transplant, come down to my clinic, right? Those ones. There's, there's the wacky ones that Trump employs who don't, but the most of them do. Yeah, most I've never seen them. the hair transplant ones. <laughs> you've, never, you've never seen a hair transplant. What's... I got mine from a guy who really didn't know about climate change. <laughs> what, what does NASA have to do with climate change? What's They're causing world? a lot of it with their big ass fucking rockets. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they put a lot of lot of shit into the air. Hey Jack, give me another drink. Come on, come on, give me a good boy. Give me a good boy. <laughs> be a good boy. Be a, be a good boy. Get, get, get daddy a drink. Causing with rocket's anything else? Are they helping? Are they um... Oh, they they're helping in the same way they help all the time. You know, and I say, Oh, what have you done? We've sent John Glenn in the air to find out the effects on old people in space. We're NASA. <laughs> We're fucking helping. Elvis uh, Elvis works for NASA though. I know. No, he does, and okay. I'm giving him some <laughs> some truths that he needs to hear. Yeah. Right? <laughs> what if he doesn't no, know? No, 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 of course, NASA's helping. NASA's doing things like this. Oh, this is no good. Oh, <laughs> we'll put this little thing in space and see if that changes. 
and then then they they, they <laughs> hop it. effect. They're, they're 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 up there patching up the hole in the ozone layer as we speak, with <laughs> with uh with fucking asbestos. What are <laughs> what is the greenhouse effect? The greenhouse effect is what I said with the the, the the solar rays coming in and then all the all the the the, the 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 smoke and the stuff coming from factories and that type of stuff and from our cars okay. from emissions from our cars and it's staying in there and it's staying inside our environment and it's bashing around and it's making everything warmer and that's why sometimes it, it's not a, it's not a change in uh, temperature events like you're still going to have like storm a getting uh, snow a getting and all those type of all the gettings. <laughs> You get all the getting's pour it into the cup. Jack Christ on a bike. Anyway, so 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 you you get the one you get the one that uh, you, yeah it's it's everything's getting warmer in the same way that you keep plants inside a greenhouse with the little glass things so you can grow tomatoes. Okay. Mm. Um, Tomato we're getting. Uh, <laughs> I'm on fire today. Here's a good one. I you really fuck, are. I could fucking lecture. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. It does what? feel like a TED talk. <laughs> I, my, my, my sense of humor really depends on my mood. Yes. You don't want to come on a moody day. <laughs> What's the difference between weather and climate? Um, weather is things like wind and storms, wind, storms and all that type of stuff. And climate is temperature. Ooh. I just did the thing where I put my tongue under my lip yeah. to uh, signal to Forrest that he's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, what an idiot. I just asked the question. <laughs> Forrest, I know he's all pious right now, and he's sitting there going, well, I'm a scientist, manatees, but you don't know. You don't know. I'll listen to fucking Elvis before you. Carry on. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you should. He's he a NASA scientist. NASA at the Jeffrey Paulson Laboratory. <laughs> Forrest, <laughs> Forrest is this close to going to NASA, but they, had a, they didn't have a suit big enough. But now you've lost all the weight. <laughs> You could uh, be NASA boy. Okay. <laughs> come come, yeah, that, come visit me two. after the pandemic. I'll, I'll give you a tour. Yeah. Yeah. Boris, not, not you, Chip. Yeah, oh. fuck off. Oh. <laughs> you blew it. Elvis does not <laughs> like you. Yeah. We'll see We'll see about your, your upcoming answers and maybe you can get uh, back. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, aren't I somebody that you need to teach? Forrest already knows. This is the problem with you fucking liberals sitting in your ivory towers where you just want to educate. You're preaching to the choir. Why don't you bring someone over like me, a fucking moron, but you're too posh? Um, what? Which measurement is more accurate, taking Earth's surface temperature from the ground or from space? Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, no, taking uh, from space, obviously, it's from space. Obviously. Obviously, because you're taking measurements from the ground. What are you going to measure from the ground, you idiot? It's a space job, if ever I fucking heard one. Um, has the Earth continued to warm since 1998? This sounds yes. like a... Okay. Yes, yes, it has. Should have probably worded yes. that differently. Yes. But, but, in, <laughs> but in, in 1997, it was on the way down. It was freezing, I remember. <laughs> I just started college and I was like, oh, the place is getting cold. Oh, it's getting so cold, little nippy outside. Mind you, that's the year I moved to Britain. So mm. things did change. I had uh. moved to England. I was like, geez, it's, it's colder than it used to be in Australia. Um, here, here we go. What is carbon neutrality? Uh, that is the amount of carbon that we're allowed to put into this. Oh, carbon's the greenhouse effect. That's the fucking thing I was talking about. It's the amount, it's <laughs> you the, said that. It's the amount of, you, you, you it's the amount of carbon that. that we can put in without causing any trouble. It's it's the rate that we go, all right, we can have... Uh, I don't know. Is everyone else successful? Because I'm just going to throw out something. It, it's, it's saying to society, <laughs> it's saying to society, we're all just allowed three cars each. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that made me look like an asshole. Of course, I only have two cars. You could have three cars and they, they don't have to be expensive. No, no. Well, yeah, because you drive one at a time. Carbon neutrality. Mm, Fucking hell, Forrest. Um, which is a bigger <laughs> methane source, cow belching or cow flatulence? Uh, the flatulence, the methane. The methane. Yeah, but comes is it from, from belching or flatulence? Flatulence. Okay. It's the farting. Oh. Is that really how you pronounce methane? Methane. Methane. Okay. <laughs> What is this, Game of Thrones? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's immigrants like me <laughs> that fucking built this country. Me and Corner Boy, without us, uh -oh. without us, what would be getting done? Nothing. Did someone, uh, someone feed him today? Did they feed him? If yeah. all of the yeah. Earth's yeah. ice... <laughs> he, just, he just went... <laughs> He's wearing a Taco Bell t-shirt. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're wearing a Taco Bell Super on brand. Oh, it's like when I wear my meat pie t-shirt. 
Uh, we got a couple more questions, Josh, and we're going to get you in here. Uh, if, <laughs> if all of the Earth's ice melts and flows into the ocean, what would happen to the planet's rotation? Okay, first of all, people with the ice melting, they think that the water levels won't rise because they go, it's an equal thing. But what happens is that... Wait, the, wait, 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 wait. Well, I'm going to get to it. Okay. I'm going to get to it. This will, <laughs> this will feed that. No, I wanted so to understand what, what you said. When you have a full glass of a uh, full drink right up to the rim and you have ice cubes and stuff like that and, they, and they're sitting above the water, when they melt, it will go over the edge of the cup, right? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> if, if all of the ice, like if the Earth's ice melts and flows into the ocean, what happens to the planet's rotation? Oh, we spin four times quicker, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and we all fly off like we're in one of those rides at Luna Park where we all fucking shoot off the side, <laughs> and then we're stuck to the ozone level, just fucking hanging on like this. Going, this is a bit wild. Okay, accurate. Um, and so when. Do you think, is are we past the point of no return with climate change? Okay, you, this is a thing yeah. that I will say for the people who don't believe in climate change. I've been hearing since I was a child, in five more years, we're past the time. And then they keep on expanding it. I'm going to say no. We've got 10 more years before we make drastic changes, blah, 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 blah. I don't think we will get, We I don't think we'll fix it. I think we will get past the point of no return. Uh, but I don't. I believe we're very close to the point of no return. And how do you fix it? We haven't hit it yet. And how do you fix it? Uh, you have to vote, people. You have to vote. <laughs> There's an election coming. Yeah. You got to get out and vote. Okay. Vote Elvis. All right. Yeah. Um, Josh Willis, thank you. Slash Elvis. I know I got to vote in an you. answer, but that's half a point. That's half a point because I am right. I am right. <clears throat> I am right. <laughs> uh, on a scale of zero through ten, ten being the best. How accurate were Jim's answers on climate change? Be oh, I, I would give him a, a solid eight. Wow. Hey. Yeah, really? Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. E even the thing where we're flying off the earth? <laughs> well, maybe he maybe understands lower on that comedy. <laughs> he understands <laughs> comedy. Uh, <laughs> uh, confidence, Kelly. Well, I, I was assuming I was going to go like four, but then you like came raging back with maybe too much confidence. I think you were like 12 on confidence. Whoa, like breaking the scale. Thank, thank you for that. Thank you for that. I knew I was going to get that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how confidence works, people. Uh, and I'm amazed you didn't give me more. For et cetera, I'm going to give you... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything else like on my brother, Scott. Oh, so you didn't give me enough? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nobody knows your brother Scott. I know, but they'll know him through this. And, <laughs> and Scott will be watching this right now, and he'll go, "Ooh, that's a good impersonation." <laughs> I've met him, and I don't feel like oh, I, I no, remember no, it's, that. It's a good impersonation. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't remember him doing you, that. You I don't know. My, I need to see my, more my, of it. My son even does that. My son goes up and he goes, "Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> I'll be an Uncle Scott. I'll be an Uncle Scott. I was doing this at Scott's wedding, and people were like, "Like Scott was like, stop it! You're upsetting people. You're upsetting people. Why? Why the fuck do you want to upset people? It's my fucking wedding day. It's my wedding day. And right now, he's listening to it right now, going, I don't sound like that. I don't sound like that. You're Does he fuck. listen? Is oh he... yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. He's very, hey, Scott. very supportive. Scott. He listens on the day. Wow. He got every James Bond question. He's a. Ja I'm a James Bond fanatic. <laughs> I fucking know James Bond. He's Michael Caine now, your brother? Okay, we, we gotta move on. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. Off the rails. About climate change. Growing up in England, we didn't have much change. The only change we had was in our pocket. And it wasn't enough to feed the family. Mm. Anyway, that was Michael Caine. <laughs> so, good. for etc. <laughs> Pretty good. For etc., I'm giving you a grade of quantum I've, physics. I've become the radio DJ <laughs> that Robin like Williams that. was playing. I have to be twice now. I'm going to be on the now. He's like, I'm going to talk over Jim this whole time because that was the second <laughs> my, time he's my, interrupted me. And I'm my other brother, Danny. Keep talking over Jim. My other brother, Danny. Until he realizes his, that his I'm trying to. His favorite thing is Forrest getting angry. I'm doing that for you, Danny. He listens as well. Right now. you just the third time. You talked over me. Danny goes, the bit the bit that's gold is when Forrest wants to punch you. <laughs> so that was the, for you, Danny. The whole and then podcast. Scott's like, "How's Danny doing? I better talk to Danny." <laughs> all right, um, all right, Josh. Scott, a, Scott's this, welcome to come to JPL anytime. This Whoa. episode is specifically right, for yeah. Jim's brothers. <laughs> <laughs> the JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was like yeah, a boy band from the nineties. <laughs> 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 we're JPL, and we're going to do. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Uh, I asked Jim. Um, JPL's going to rock you. Yeah. 
what is <laughs> what is climate change? He said a lot of things. Overtime, environment, CFCs, carbon, ozone layer. Like, can you just explain to us what climate change is for people that might not know? Because I don't think some people do. Yeah, yeah. Well, cli climate change, he got most of it right, uh, yeah. except the ozone hole. I mean, the ozone hole is sort of a different problem, but but climate change comes from uh, when we add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, it traps extra heat and it warms up the earth. And this uh, disrupts the climate. It doesn't just warm up. It also causes sea level rise, causes storms to get more intense. It causes dry places to get drier and wet places to get wetter. It's basically global climate havoc. Climate change is the only way I've made a few women come. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was waiting for like a hey <laughs> Dry places to get wetter, you see. Because <laughs> it turns out spitting on your palm and slapping just... on their cunt doesn't work all the time. Fucking hell. Holy <laughs> crap. Is my, is my NBC sitcom happening or not? <laughs> now, if you keep talking like this. That's, Hold on. That scene has to get cut. Hold on. I'm, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting a word in here. No. <laughs> oh, Kelly's funny. Um, okay. Uh, he said ozone hole. So you said the ozone hole isn't part of climate change. Well, it's uh, it, it actually he was right. It does actually make some of the effects of climate change worse. So it's not helping. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, not helping. helping. It's was definitely I right not helping. when I said Australia in right. the North Pole? The two, yeah, well, the two yeah there's a there's a the, the big ones over the south Hail. pole and, oh, and over south antarctica pole. but it, it was it was so big that it it did reach parts of australia for a while but it is shrinking now yeah oh, but global warming is getting to be way bigger effect than the ozone hole ever was right yeah but that was the big thing when i was a kid i'll tell you what when you were but this is off subject <laughs> this, this few, never happens i'll tell Josh. you i'll tell you what so, i'll tell you what science does wrong right they go on about things and then it's and then they stop talking about it. so so my mother when i was young had a bad back right she had a terrible bad back and i thought she was almost near she had a slip disc i thought she was so close to being in a wheelchair then she got diabetes and she started injecting insulin in front of people that was a big thing like she lifted up a shirt like i have to have me insulin and we stopped we stopped hearing about the bad back right and then the last two years of her life we heard, she had Parkinson's. We stopped hearing about the fucking diabetes. We're only cancer away from not hearing about the Parkinson's. You know what I mean? So when I was a kid, you guys were obsessed. Environmentalists were obsessed with, oh, the Amazon, the Amazon. We're losing a football field a day. And I, was just, I haven't heard about the fucking Amazon for years. And then came the ozone layer. Oh, happening. the ozone layer, the ozone. Oh, fuck off. The Amazon's fine. Uh. Anyway, so the ozone <laughs> layer happens. And oh, my God, the ozone layer, the ozone layer. And then global warming happens, and I stopped hearing about the fucking ozone there. Oh, you are this close to having a whole bunch of gorillas coming and killing us where we don't have to hear about global warming. <laughs> Go gorilla stampede. You're a gorilla stampede away from being away from a job, my friend. So so why don't we hear about the ozone there? Because you just said it wasn't that Or the bad. Amazon. Amazon. Do we? Was the Amazon fine? Well, sure. The yeah, no, no, the, the Amazon's definitely not fine. And it's contributing to global warming because they're cutting down trees and burning them. So they keep on saying a football field a, a day, a football field a day. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, how many fucking football fields are there? All right, that was the 1980s. It should be done by now, a football field <laughs> a fucking small, day. How small do you think how the Amazon is? How many days do you think there are in a year? 365. That's 322 <laughs> football fields a year. Oh, yeah. Australian calendar. Um... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's at least one acre, right? A year, <laughs> and, and we still we still have Amazon. Yeah, it's it's big. Yeah, in well, fact, it's, it's Amazon's more profitable than it's ever been. <laughs> like, yeah. Amazon's in its prime All right, right let, now. Let, let, let John, like, if it's let, so bad, why would you name a company let, after let him explain. Why would you name let him explain. They didn't call let it Holocaust.com. <laughs> Buy all your needs at Holocaust.com. Let him explain. Okay. Well, that was such a stunning display of mathematical prowess. I put the uh, equations back up. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the Amazon is really big, and uh, it, it's it's going to take oh, decades. You know, is that scientist talk? To it all. The yeah, Amazon's really big. really big. Okay. Okay. The Amazon is so big that uh, every year enough rain falls in the Amazon to make global sea level go down by a measurable amount. Oh, that's nice. Wait, you so should do that again. The say the Amazon's so big, and then we'll yeah. say how so big, big is it? That the, yeah. Okay. The Amazon is so big. How big is, is it? How big is it? 
it's so big <laughs> that when it rains in the Amazon, global sea level goes down. Whoa. Right. That's good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the Not as impressive the third time around. I, 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 I can do that with any lemon. <laughs> Africa is so big. How big is it? When there's enough rainfall to cover all of it, the sea levels go up. Oh. Australia is so big. How big is it? It's a lot of fun to travel. <laughs> um. So, do you have any other rebuttal to Jim's science? Uh, oh, oh, well, the, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, look. Uh, rebuttal warming's is, worse. is a term for when <laughs> you have warming's sex worse. twice. Global warming's worse, you just said, right? <laughs> global warming. Sorry, yeah, global warming's Jim, definitely Jim doesn't worse. normally heckle the experts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's wearing an Elvis oh. conversation. Hey, uh. he's wearing an Elvis outfit. How dare anyone come on the show just like Elvis and go, they didn't take me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you, he can, he can you, handle it. You at the beginning said you believe right. climate change is happening. Yes. You like science, and everything you've said since then has been anti-science. Devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay, Joe. I appreciate. It. We need, we need, we need the devil's advocate because we're not the real problem with Which science. Which is a newspaper. Really good at explaining it. <laughs> the real problem is what? Is we're not very good at explaining it. Okay, you know, explain. 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 It I'm going to yeah. shut up. Explain it. Because yeah. often yeah. in the well, comments, well, not going to shut up. You often, know, you're not going to shut up. You haven't <laughs> shut up often, once. Often in the uh, comments, people go like this: they go, "Jim doesn't let the experts." Because you speak. don't. You haven't let him speak. I'm about you've, to do it. I'm introducing a time. You've interrupted him ten times. I'm introducing a time. You've interrupted him ten times, and I guarantee you're going to interrupt him again. <laughs> your your math's no good. Ten times, <laughs> math. fifteen or sixteen or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh, go ahead. <laughs> ten times, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Should we go back to the math? Is that- <laughs> uh, All right, let, let, let's, <laughs> let, let, let's give you a question. So Jim said, I asked yeah. him what the difference between climate change and global warming is. He said, same thing. Is that accurate? Well, you know, actually, <laughs> I use that answer a lot, too. That's one of the reasons I gave you the eight instead of the four. Because ah. I, I like that answer. I'd like to say yeah, thank it you, is. but it'll upset you know- Forrest. <laughs> 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 yeah, because, look, uh, we talk about climate change, uh, and that sort of encompasses all these other things like sea level rise and ice melting and the storms getting worse. Uh, but the reason that's all happening is because the whole planet is heating up. And that's what global warming is. And so it's driving the climate change. So they are very much the same thing. And we ought to be able to talk about both. There's no rule against just talking about one or the other. Okay. And I asked them, do scientists agree on climate change? He said 95% agree and 5% are republicans and hair transplants and stuff <laughs> yeah right <laughs> i would say the good ones agree yeah yeah and what but is it all scientists or what's the what is there is well, jim right with 95 percent? you can talk now jim <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, is he? i don't want to upset he... anyone <laughs> comment world's gonna blow up next so week quiet. He's got all this so carbon that's coming out of me now <laughs> 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 yeah, my, it's my, 99, 95. Look, all serious climate scientists agree that people are changing the Earth's climate. But what about the funny deal. climate scientists? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they're trying to be funny. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> well, so do do you guys get together and like berate the 1%? Or what do you guys do? Yeah, right. And we pick on them. Yeah. yeah it's always uh, good to bully up on the odd one out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Go That's to your right. climate well, conventions. <laughs> And go, fucking Frank over there. Oh, nothing's wrong. <laughs> nothing's wrong. Your wife's fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. A, you know, people don't know this about scientists, but we are pretty mean to each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we, you know, yeah, we criticize each other's work all the time. It's part of being a scientist is to beat up on your, uh, your colleagues. Isn't it funny because you were all bullied in school and now you get to turn it around? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. I asked uh, Jim what NASA has to do with climate change. He said rockets are contributing to it. <laughs> and I watched the Challenger thing. What did you do there? Hey, the O rings. Yeah. Should have fixed yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. All you got to do is get a thicker O ring, get a bit more rubber in there, and you would have to kill the school teacher, you bastard. If if only you would have had one of the good immigrants <laughs> yeah, there yeah, helping. Yeah, yeah. You just have, you just have, you, you, all you needed was that stuff you have on a on a jar that you preserve something, that little <laughs> ring, or under yeah. a gross lager. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's best to MacGyver a rocket to yeah, go yeah, to yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, on a Grosschlager, when you put the seal down, you got that little rubber ring, put one of them in there. There you go. Problem yes, solved. Yeah, yes, yeah, so when I was a kid, the big joke was, what does NASA stand for? Need another seven astronauts. We laughed. We were cruel. We were cruel, nasty children. Holy crap. <laughs> I remember that joke. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> so um, hurts. So what is NASA doing in respect to climate change? Well, NASA actually studies the Earth uh, almost as much or more than like outer space and, and distant planets and stuff like that. So NASA has a huge budget for just looking back at the Earth and trying to understand what's happening uh, on it. And right now, climate change is the biggest thing that's happening. So we, we spend a lot of uh, resources studying the problem. What else do you study if that's the biggest thing? What's your second biggest thing? Uh, well, there's, uh, there's space exploration, which is a huge part of the budget. So yeah, just sending people up into space, um, we've there's a that. lot of technology. When are you going back to the moon? When are you going back to the moon? And I don't know. It's not my choice. It's not my decision. You it's did it in decision. the fucking sixties and you haven't done it I since. I should, I should probably at this point say that I am not an official NASA spokesperson for <laughs> yeah. uh, any of those things. And oh, I, I thought I'm that was an official outfit. my own volition. <laughs> He, he knows I our... thought that was an official outfit. <laughs> think, yeah, yeah. Think, That's right. Wouldn't that be good? Because right. you could do that with the space outfits if you bedazzle them a bit. Yeah. If you bedazzle them a bit, we're all watching. We go, and all these astronauts is going up as Elvis. <laughs> That's and then right. and it's good for the launch off. Dun, dun, bum, 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 bum. Elvis did that at the beginning of his concerts. Mm, yeah. Dun, dun. When no one else can understand me and everything I did is wrong. That was me, not Elvis. We didn't put a recording in. Whoa. I'm that good. That wow. was amazing. Thank yeah. you. I agree. I think I think NASA needs more sequence. For sure. <laughs> yeah, or a sequence of events. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Wish you talked more, Joe. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna shut up. In it. One day I'll have my own podcast, and then you'll hear from me. <laughs> We're gonna get lots of good comments for Forrest on this podcast. Yeah, my favorite part is I think that people think that Forrest is just like some random guy you employ, and they're like, "Why does he talk to him like that? Like, what the fuck?" I'm like, they... Oh yeah, they don't know that me and Forrest are friends. Yeah. After, <laughs> after the podcast, they think like we we go and thank you, good night, and then Forrest goes, "You talk too much." <laughs> <laughs> we clock out like all right see it like the the rooster and the see you next week <laughs> boss <laughs> the rooster was foghorn foghorn leghorn. i couldn't remember his name foghorn yeah, leghorn. Was, it was leghorn. a catchy name that we could all remember foghorn leghorn <laughs> jesus <laughs> christ looney tunes <laughs> oh that no, was, was looney tunes that was yeah, looney, yeah it was looney yeah, tunes yeah. okay yeah. um I'll say, I'll say. I asked him about weather versus climate. He said, weather is wind and storms, climate's temperature, and called me an idiot. <laughs> Besides the idiot part. Was the I, was, I was right on one of those things. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, temperature, weather is really, uh, is really the, uh, the day-to-day changes in, in the temperature and the wind and the rain. And the climate is really what's happening over the long term. So we often say weather is what uh, climate is what you expect and weather is what you get. Uh, climate is what you expect and weather is what you get. Hmm. I'm going to put that in my marriage vows. <laughs> <laughs> How's that going to work in your marriage vows? I'm going to go, when I met you, climate is what I expect <laughs> and weather is what you'll get. <laughs> No, no, you yeah, say it's like, it like you, yeah. you expect yeah. things to be like, peaceful. Yeah, like and things then, like you, know, you have and, a little storm coming. Yeah, and you'll be in trouble whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, greenhouse effect? Did he get that right? I think he did. The solar gets trapped in there in the earth. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 carbon is what traps it. But yeah, it's uh, it's carbon dioxide. It traps the heat from the sun and it warms up the planet. Yeah. And, and I kind of messed this there up. There's some tomato stuff in there too, right? Tomato getting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tomato getting. Yeah. Tomato getting. I kind of uh, messed this up. I asked him, has the earth been, earth been getting warmer since 1998? Like, as if I was, no. <laughs> 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 but so we've had increasing temperatures every year since 1998 on average. Is that- yeah. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, s- some years, like 98 is always one that the climate deniers pick on because there was a big El Nino. And when we have an El Nino, the whole earth is just a little bit warmer for a year. So that happened. There was this big spike and then it kind of came back down. But the long term trend is still towards warming. Why is and, it why is it named El Nino? Is Mexican scientists yeah. figured that out? 
<laughs> it's actually uh, the Peruvian fishermen uh, noticed that the water temperatures got warm around Christmas. Right. So your whole job after. is based on Peruvian fishermen. <laughs> exactly. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's some yeah. Peruvian fishermen said <laughs> this. It must be true. Well, I love ceviche. So... That's, that's yeah. <laughs> there you go. Random. Stop speaking Italian. <laughs> hey, um, I mentioned Greenland. I meant to ask you this, Jim. That, do you know what NASA's OMG mission is? It's the Oh My God mission. What, yeah. yeah, obviously. Um, it's when they went into space the first time, and people were like, "Oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> we're in space. Oh. Like, that's mental. Oh my god, where are we? That's mental. Oh my god. Yesterday I was at the mall, now I'm in space. <laughs> um I like, they, like they're girls from the nineteen nineties yeah. watching clueless. So I, I, I mentioned that uh that Josh just got back from Greenland. Can you talk about why you're in Greenland and what the OMG mission is? Yeah, yeah. So o OMG. Uh, stands for Oceans Melting Greenland, and uh, it's a five-year mission that I run that uh, is using airplanes to try and measure the oceans around Greenland and see how much the water is eating away at the ice there. Oh. And how's it doing? Great? Uh, no, <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> oh, right, right. It's, it's not good for Greenland. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so and this is actually, this is, this was my plane, and... Uh, this was an iceberg that we flew past, and uh, it was so tall, it actually cast a shadow on the plane. It blotted out the sun. So it was a huge... And so what uh, do you guys do? You, do foot you know hills can do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what do you guys... Like, how do you measure it there? Like, what do you do? What's, what's the process? So what, what we do is we fly around in this old uh, DC-3 airplane, and we drop these cylinders out of the airplane, and they go in the water, and they... They kind of split into two parts and one part stays at the surface and it radios the data back to the plane and the other part falls down on a tiny thin wire and it measures the temperature and the saltiness of the water all the way down to the sea floor. So we basically get a profile of how warm the ocean is, not just at the surface, but all the way down to the sea floor. Mm. Um, and we do that 200 or 300 times all the way around Greenland. Right. And what would happen if you did it 198 times? Would there be a problem? Would you not be able to recognize what's going on? Can you put the does equations back be, up, please? Does, it need, about does math. it need to be 200 or 300 times? <laughs> well, he yeah, was, well, he was you know, Greenland's a it. big place, mm -hmm. and there's uh, there's two or 300 glaciers, kind of depending on how you count. Wow, more and, than the people. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, almost all of them are touching the water. So even though we think of Greenland as a big block of ice melting from the hot air, it's actually the ice is sitting in the water and it's melting from below as well. So that's what we're trying to figure out. What happens to the probes after you're done with them? So the probes are, the, most of the probes we drop are expendable. They're one-time use. Yeah. So all the parts at the surface, they eventually sink and they fall to the sea floor. And most of it's made of metal, which dissolves over time. And then the rest gets covered in sediments. Wait, 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 go, go back, go back. Yeah. What is yeah. this metal that yeah. dissolves over time? I've, well, never, I've never left. Me, water. I've never left me car out for two weeks ago. <laughs> ah, fuck me, car <laughs> dissolved. Have you parked your car at the yeah. bottom of the ocean? Put it in salt water and see what yeah. happens. Oh yeah, salt water. <laughs> yeah, salt water. <laughs> I don't park it in salt water. Yeah. Why is the Titanic still there? It's not well, all it's, there. It's it's melting. I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's taking uh, its sweet fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, these probes well, aren't quite as thick uh, as the uh, Titanic's hull. Uh, may, maybe <laughs> yeah, the water small. levels are rhyming because all small. your fucking probes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we put 10,000 probes down. The water <laughs> levels went up. So <laughs> uh, I, asked, I asked Jim about cows and their contribution to global warming, what, yeah. which is a bigger methane source, belching or farting. He said farting. Do you know anything about that? Uh, yeah, actually, it's belching. Wow. Because cows, uh, they have the little second stomach or Not whatever. The fucking cows, I know. Ruminate the food. Yeah. That, that's Jim's standard answer on this thing when he gets it wrong. Not the ones I know. <laughs> um, and is that really because I, you know, there's that documentary about like cows are the largest contribution contributing source to to to, or at least with methane and climate change. So arguably, when I have a hamburger, I'm helping the environment out because I'm getting rid of cow. <laughs> That's my argument. Yeah but, yeah, but then you continue to burp into the microphone, so it's, yeah. it's, like, the oh, I'm it's not, like the transit I'm not, property. I'm not releasing any carbon. Every time I burp, if semen causes trouble. <laughs> um, so is that, are cows the largest source or is it really? I don't know about the- Bulls the, are larger. 
there's significant <laughs> there's significant source of of methane um but and methane's another important greenhouse gas so if we uh, eliminated all cows if we had a cow a cost right we 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 killed all the cows <laughs> cow cow cost. it took me a second had a great big bar- cow, had, had a great big uh barbecue would the environment be better if we got rid of all the- that's a serious question if we got rid of cows yeah, sure. would the environment be better well yeah i mean it, there, there's there's a huge uh you know industry farming cattle and growing them Mm. and it does contribute to methane production and it uses a lot of water and energy to to grow that meat so what about making it smaller sheep a sheep farting too much yeah that's a good i don't know there's not as there's not as many so you know (laughs) and they're smaller are you are you a vegetarian there's a sheep farting (laughs) oh got it oh my god josh are you a vegetarian I'm not. I'm not. But I, I eat way less meat than <laughs> I used to. He's dressed like Elvis. <laughs> That's right. Are you a vegetarian? Oh, I'll have a Beyond Burger. <laughs> That's right. Um, I like a Beyond Burger and every now and then. I asked Jim, I said, if all of the Earth's ice melts and flows into the ocean, what would happen to the planet's rotation? He said it would speed up by four times and people would be flung off into the ozone, <laughs> stuck against the ozone. Fact. Is that true? That was the one he got perfect. Uh, I, this is why I got an eight out of ten, enjoyed. Bitch. What's that? Much as I enjoyed that answer, no, that that one's definitely not true. Dang. So what happens? To the, does that affect the Earth's rotation? It, if the more it does, actually, it's it slows down, but it's very small. We can measure it, but you you wouldn't feel it. Nobody's gonna, you know, nobody's gonna. Fly that's off that's the same. That's the same thing I say about my penis. We can measure it, but you wouldn't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't work on a standard ruler. We need some type of microscopic. <laughs> but hold on. What's so- smaller than a millimeter? <laughs> A penis. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So if it, it slows the Earth's rotation down, so we could slow the Earth's rotation down, and that would affect time and calendars. And oh, that's good. I need more time. Oh, uh, it's not. It's it's way too small for that. Uh, it's way okay. too small for that. It wouldn't be. It, it wouldn't be. It way less than like seconds per year. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's very re- small. I have to reset but it does me slow down watch. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, carbon neutrality, Jim. What did you say here? It's, it's, I don't know. It's a long time ago. <laughs> I, don't I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> I, I'm drinking. Who knows? Um, well, just explain to us what carbon neutrality is. I said something funny. I remember it. I think it was something yeah. about cars. And if was that when you were saying you drive a Tesla and a Challenger? No, that was earlier on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Whatever. well. Yeah. If only we had well, four other people in the room to check these <laughs> I answers. wrote it down. I think it was when you say you drive, you drive if you drive one car at a time or something like that. Yeah. 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 You have less cars. Yeah. yeah. Less car. Yeah. Well, it's just what it means is that you do something to offset the carbon you put in the atmosphere. So if you burn a bunch of gas, then you plant a bunch of trees. Oh, so that's a lot of bullshit. That's a load of rubbish. I remember ten years ago, the airlines were obsessed with that. If you would like to offset your carbon footprint, please donate money. Go fuck yourself. You go do that. I'm fucking. I'm flying to fucking Denver for a gig. <laughs> I genuinely can't tell if yeah. Jim believes in climate change. Or seems, not. Like he support, seems like he supports it. I'll tell you I that believe in climate change, but I also believe in killing future generations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I asked Jim if we're past the point of no return. He says we have ten more years to fix shit. Is that true? Like, can like some? I've heard that too. Like sometimes people say, you know, we can't do anything about it, so we might as well go forward. Or you know, where do? What do you think from where you're standing? Well, it's. It's the fact is that, that there's a certain amount of warming and sea level rise and climate change that we're stuck with, that we're not going to get rid of. The, the question is, how bad do you want it to be? So if we act very quickly and we try and avoid the worst consequences, then, you know, in, and we, we're able to really change our behavior in the next 10 years, then we might avoid some of the worst consequences. But S- serious there's going to be more sea level rise As a scientist. and warming. Are you terrified or are you just like, eh, what are you going to do? Well, it's it, it, it's a bit of both. I mean, it's funny, you know, as a scientist, you're kind of, it, it's it's a good time to be a climate scientist because stuff's going on. I mean, and you can just make up changing. shit and upset Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's right. I've got job Look security up, right you know, now. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like the birds are going to fall from the sky and they're going to fall in the ocean. And ocean levels are going to rise, blah, 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 blah. You can be pro-abortion, like, oh, don't uh, have an abortion because if you have a baby, it will fall in the ocean. <laughs> falls in the ocean. Everything's falling in the ocean. 
So, and I asked Jim how to fix it. He said vote, but is I mean, like I know it's that's not a, a bad answer though. That's not a bad I, answer. It's not. No, no, it's not. Yeah. Matter of fact, that's my favorite answer. I I use that answer all the time. It's the most important thing you can do. It's more important than planting a tree or driving a Tesla, for sure. Oh uh, yeah, because you know the people running the EPA right now are fucking nightmares. Can but, I uh, say something about trees that's a bit controversial? <laughs> Um, <laughs> the thing about trees is they go, oh, we're losing trees, we're losing trees, whatever. They're fucking everywhere. It's a bad design, this planet. It's a bad design. Everywhere I walk, there's a fucking tree in me way. You know, oh, I've got trees in me backyard. I had one of them that died. I had to spend a thousand bucks to fucking get it removed, this big ass fucking tree. When God, the mythical creature of God, when he created the earth and he said, we need this many trees, too many trees. <laughs> Each town should have seven. <laughs> each 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 city should have maybe forty six, right? Seven in a town. Forty six trees. What yeah, about, too what about, many trees. What about shrubs and flowers and stuff like that? Oh no, love love flowers. He talks about the earth, the earth <laughs> yeah. design as if it's like a poorly designed IKEA. There should Sim be City. There's there's too many fucking trees. We all love flowers, and the bees need the flowers, but trees too many. We trees. need trees, yeah, we, and, and this. And this myth that children climb them. My son's seven. He's never climbed fucking one. I climbed never. trees when I was little. I, yeah, all the time. Yeah, and those trees are dead now because of that. <laughs> but wait, how would we breathe without trees? Well, we can't. That's why it's a bad design. We need this many trees. Too many trees. Too, and, <laughs> and enough for the trees. Everyone's like, oh, there's not enough trees. Everywhere I look, there's fucking trees. What about the food I'm that comes from trees? I'm in an airplane. I look down. Fucking trees <laughs> upon trees upon trees. <laughs> Enough with the trees already. But what about the food that comes from trees? Oh, what? what there's things that grow off trees that we can eat, you fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, lots yeah. of things grow on trees. Uh, apples. I can't think of anything yeah. else. Oranges. oranges lemons, oh, yeah, oranges, limes. Limes, limes. You got me with oranges and <laughs> Berries, cranberries. Just pretty much fruits, vegetables. What, Let's go berries with... growing trees? I thought they were a sea-growing creature. <laughs> 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 I understand conspiracy theorists now because I've seen the passion here. <laughs> um, okay, a couple things before I wrap this up. One is we want to get a dinner party fact from you. This is a fact that we give to our listeners, our audience, so that they can impress people at parties with their knowledge of their subject. So climate change, if somebody was talking about that at a party, what, what would you tell them? The one. Okay, so uh, over 90% of the heat that's trapped by the greenhouse gases is in the oceans. So when we think about global warming, you know, we think about the air, but really it's ocean warming. So it's those farting warming. crocodiles. <laughs> how, how, how does the heat get caught in the ocean? This is a real question. Is this because of things that we do in yeah. boats or is this because the octopuses are playing up again? <laughs> no, no. It's because the oceans are two thirds of the planet and uh, the- What? Yeah, that's right. Are they really? Is it two thirds? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, more than two thirds. Yeah, it's like seventy percent. Oh, I just thought yeah, some, some I just thought they were we four six. Yeah, we should. <laughs> four six. Uh, four, six. Yeah, man, I got it. Yeah, we shouldn't have two thirds. There we go. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah, we right, shouldn't right, have right. called it. Yeah, Arthur C. Clarke said we shouldn't have called it. Uh, we shouldn't have called it Earth. We should have called it Ocean because it's mostly ocean. He was so a fun go. guy. <laughs> <laughs> And also, yeah. Ah, uh, John C. Riley. So, so when the oceans, <laughs> the oceans are warming, and it affects all the weather, and the, like obviously hurricanes is a big one that the oceans affect, and so forth. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. And they're just the main storage for all the heat. You know, we talk about the the greenhouse effect trapping the heat. Well, almost all of it's going in the oceans, and the air is just warming up because the oceans are warming. What, so the oceans are really the main driver of climate change. What can we do in the immediate future to stop it? Like, what can we really do as, as, as like an individual? Because I try to buy things that are ethical and I try to drive less. And, you know, I can't change my I, I hear that flying is worse than driving. And I can't change that because of my career. I have to fly everywhere. What can all of us as an individual do to make a real change. Just a side note, Jim lives about six blocks away from here. He drove here. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you can fuck You've off. <laughs> you, can, you can fuck off. I live four blocks away. <laughs> Maths. I try my best. <laughs> it's a hot day. Such a, the such climate's a, been going up. You want me to fucking walk out such there? Such a martyr. No, for I'd, be, I'd be out there farting like a fucking beast. <laughs> 
Did you drive? Well, the it's a really line? short commute. No, that's, it doesn't <laughs> matter. At least he didn't drive fifty miles. Exactly. That's why the studio quick. That's climate true. change. That's why we did get this. Um, yeah. right. so, no, no. What what, what meaningful well, thing the, the, can individuals do? Yeah. So, well, of course, you know, I think you said it earlier. It's vote. Um, because the the short answer is you can't fix it by yourself. We have to fix it together, and we have to have policies that help us do it. Because as long as it's profitable to make the climate hotter, we're going to keep doing it. And the only way to make it not profitable is to pass laws and regulations. So it's it's got to come from government. And the only way to get that to change is for us to change it. All right. But well, but, but what what do we actually do? Voting like 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 should I just stop driving as much or should I? Well, yeah, you should sure, do all yeah. those things still. I mean, or those... should I stop forest yeah. from swimming? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, my joke. The right. jokes yeah. that you keep doing yeah. about the ocean thing—that's my joke for my stand-up. That's act. the wild joke. Yeah, I know. You keep st- you, you stolen you, it three times you're, you're, now, you're, you're, and one of them <laughs> was to call me fat. He took my joke. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that he owns all fat things. <laughs> I own that joke. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the short answer. It's recorded on television. <laughs> Um, I mean, the short answer is we have to move to to different fuels, and there's all kinds of ways to do that, like big, solar, big grass fields, wind. or where do we no, move? No fuels. Yeah, the, oh, it's, fuels. It's, okay. it's fuel. Fuel. Right. I don't have to move to a different field. <laughs> no, <laughs> that freed up my week. Well, you can, but you know, but uh, yeah, we have to we have to change fuel sources, and that that's going to require. Uh, that's going to require the governments to help us out. I mean, it's the only way. What car do you drive? I drive a I drive a, a hybrid Lexus. Ah, good lad, good lad. Yeah. The NASA car. Well, I work from home a lot too. Yeah. Um, I, we have uh, a clip of you as Elvis singing about climate change. Um, oh, I thought we might play a little play bit it. of that real quick. Yeah, you guys have that queued up there. I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning fuel. Yeah, well, that might be. I'm a, just a nice. hunk of hunk of burning fuel. Here we go. Here we go. Climate Elvis. Sunday on Sunday, high 73. Monday rain was pouring down on me. Tuesday was cold, I almost froze my toes. But what's it gonna be next week? Who knows? That's weather. Oh, that's the weather you got. Oh, but you take it with your weather and your averages together and you're two in the climate rock. A climate is the average of the weather you see. The critters and plants all know where to be. A cactus can't live in the tropical rain. And polar bears don't dig my rain. That's climate. All right. So that was climate. I, I, got, I got to be honest. That took up a lot of electricity to film there. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It did. I think it was pretty good. It did, yeah. Pretty good as all of us. Oh, time. thank you. Yeah. Thank um, you. Thank you very much. Just pretty good, I said. Not, not great. But did, Elvis, <laughs> did, did Elvis really say thank you, thank you very much that often? I don't know. He probably said it once. I know, but it's easy to say yeah. for the impression. Oh, no, no, it is. I do it as well. <laughs> I don't know. I have no... I'm not a huge Elvis guy, so I don't know a, a lot about I didn't Elvis. know him personally. You so. know who was a huge Elvis guy? Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite um, thing about him. We'll put a link to that 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 video up there uh, in the in on the on the podcast if people want to watch the whole thing awesome thank um you. Thank, thank you for being here josh willis uh, again they can find you at facebook.com slash climate elvis or on instagram and twitter as at omg nasa that's omg nasa or just google climate elvis and you will find him jim he's a friend of lisa curry so that's oh you're a friend him. of lisa yeah, curry yeah game the oh, fuck yeah. off the air <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we love lisa we yeah. love lisa thank you for coming on the show sorry if i cut you off too much and you're like, upset no, forrest was... <laughs> For, forrest is all it upset about his water levels gag <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> all right thank you it Josh. was a blast and and uh i was just if after the pandemic if any of you ever want to come visit uh the lab and and see what we do for sure uh, for sure yeah. all right and where where is your lab it's uh, it's in Pasadena, just north of LA. It's the mm, Jet Propulsion far, Laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't know I didn't know it was twelve miles from my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take us out, Jim. Ah, right. uh, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever been in a party? Had some problems? Someone's come in, you're making out with someone's wife, and they go, Hey, that's my wife. You can always say, Well, I don't know about that and you can leave the room. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Good night, Australia. <laughs>